Hello friends, welcome to Target.js and in this video we are going to see what are hurricanes and how and why do we name tropical storms and hurricanes. So first let us see what are hurricanes. See hurricanes are nothing but a large tropical storm, something like this and they produce winds at a speed of almost 120 km per hour or even higher sometimes. And these winds are so pow powerful that they can damage the buildings as well as the trees. A hurricane generally starts out as a tropical disturbance and this is an area over warm ocean waters where rain clouds are building and a tropical disturbance sometimes grows into a tropical depression and this is an area of rotating thunderstorms with winds of almost 62 km per hour and a tropical depression becomes a tropical storm if its winds reach almost 63 km per hour and a tropical storm becomes a hurricane if its winds reach almost 119 km per hour. And scientists don't know exactly why or how a hurricane forms but they do know that there are two ingredients that are needed one ingredient is warm ocean waters see warm ocean waters provide the energy a storm needs to become a hurricane usually the surface water temperature must be 26 degrees celsius or even higher for a hurricane to form the other ingredient is that winds that don't change much in speed or direction as go up in the sky See if the winds that change a lot with height that will split the storm apart. So from exam point of view, we should know that hurricanes form over warm ocean water and sometimes they strike even land. And once a hurricane forms, weather forecasters can predict its path and they can also predict how strong it will get. And we should also know that there are five types or categories of hurricanes. The scale of categories is called Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. Okay, this you have to remember. And the categories are based on wind speed. For example, category 1, the wind speed will be 190 to 153 kilometers per hour, followed by category 2 till category 5. Category 5, we have winds more than 253, 252 kilometers per hour. So let us see how and why do we name hurricanes. See, until 1950s, tropical storms and hurricanes were tracked by year and the order in which they occur during that particular year. And initially there was a lot of confusion, but over the time it was understood that the use of short, easily remember names in written as well as spoken communication is quicker and reduces confusion when two or more tropical storms occur at the same time. And this is one reason hurricanes are named and names make it easier to keep track of it. Therefore, in the year 1953, the United States began using female names for the storms and by 1978, both male and female names were used to identify northern specific storms and this was then adopted in the year 1979 first storms in the atlantic basin and there is a strict procedure established by the wmo for atlantic hurricanes there is a there is a list of 21 male and female names these are the 21 male and female names which are used on a six year rotation and if a storm does a lot of damage its name is sometimes taken off from the list it is then replaced by a new name that starts with the same letter. Suppose if there are more than 21 named tropical cyclones that occur in a season, then additional storms will take names from Greek alphabet. So that is all about hurricanes and why and how we name them. Do follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for more updates. You can find the link in the description. Thank you.